covers the earth and darkness the people above you Yahweh now rises above you His glory appears arise Arise shine out for your light has come In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, at this altar, the Lord breaks his body and gives it to us to eat, that we may not perish, that we may have eternal life. There's much that is perishing in our life. There's much that we are sad about. There's much that makes us bitter and angry. There's much that goes wrong with us. There's much that's sinful. Let's bring it all to the Lord and give it all in the hands of God. The Lord will change it all and make it for our good, turn everything for our good. With that confidence, let us confess together. I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have I greatly sinned. In, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my, my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God, who in the font of baptism have made new those who believe in you, keep safe those reborn in Christ, that defeating every onslaught of terror, they may faithfully preserve the grace of your blessing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The church was built up, and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it multiplied. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 9, verses 31 to 42. In those days, the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was being built up and walking in the fear of the Lord. And in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it multiplied. Now, as Peter went here and there among them all, 
he came down also to the saints who lived at Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, bedridden for eight years, who was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose. And all the residents of Lydda and Sharon saw him. And they turned to the Lord. Now there was in Joppa a disciple named Tabitha, which translated means Dorcas. She was full of good works and acts of charity. In those days she became ill and died. And when they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. Since Lydda was near Joppa, the disciples, hearing that Peter was there, sent two men to him, urging him, Please come to us without delay. So Peter rose and went with them, and when he arrived, they took him to the upper room. All the widows stood beside him, weeping, and showing the tunics and other garments that Dorcas made, while she was with them. But Peter put them all outside, and knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she sat up, and he gave her his hand and raised her up. Then, calling the saints and widows, he presented her alive, and it became known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. How can I repay the Lord for all His goodness to me? How can I repay the can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the name of the Lord. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. How precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. How can I repay the Lord for all this goodness to me? Your servant, Lord, your servant am I, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bonds, a thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the name of the Lord. How can I repay the Lord for all this goodness to me? Let us rise to welcome the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of eternal life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. Chapter 6, verses 60 to 69. Then many of his disciples who were listening said, This saying is hard. Who can accept it? Since Jesus knew that his disciples were murmuring about this, he 
He said to them, Does this shock you? What if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit that gives life, while the flesh is of no avail. The words I have spoken to you are spirit and life. But there are some of you who do not believe. Jesus knew from the beginning the ones who would not believe, the one who would betray him. And he said, for this reason, I have told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by my father. As a result of this, many of his disciples returned to their former way of life and no longer accompanied him. Jesus then said to the twelve, Do you also want to leave? Simon Peter answered him, Master, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and are convinced that you are the Holy One of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, wherever Jesus went, the people gathered around him. He had followers. And the reason is, the Gospels tell us, the people were astounded at the miraculous deeds that Jesus performed. But it was a different story in Kavanaugh. In Kavanaugh, Jesus plainly proclaimed to the gathering around him, I am the living bread come down from heaven. I, I will offer myself to be broken that you may eat of me. I will offer myself to be shed that you may drink of me. And only by eating of my flesh and drinking of my blood, you will have eternal life. A very plain proclamation of Jesus. At this, the followers of Jesus were scandalized. For the Jews, to eat of human body and drink of human blood was an abomination. They could not even think of it. They took the words of Jesus in a very literal way. And they did not try to understand him in the light of his infinite love. The infinite love with which Jesus loves us. The purpose of his coming was to feed us with his body. To feed us with his blood. That we may have eternal life. And Jesus said, you are dying. All of you. Because all the food that you eat can bring you only to the tomb. And there you will perish. In the mud of the earth. But if you eat of my body and drink of my blood, you will live forever. And the people returned, went away from Jesus. And Jesus turned to the twelve apostles and asked, Are you also going away? If you want, you may go, but understand me, you are dying. The only way you can live is to become one with me. And you will become one with me only when you eat of my body and drink of my blood and thus become one with me. And Simon Peter said, Master, going away, where to? You have the words of eternal life. And thus Simon Peter and the twelve apostles, Simon Peter and the other eleven apostles remained with Jesus. And these twelve had the great blessedness to eat of the body and drink of the blood of Jesus. When Jesus took the bread, blessed it, and gave it to them and said, take it and eat it. This is my body. 
he took the cup of wine blessed it and gave it to the man said take it and drink it this is my blood they ate and drank of the body and blood of jesus in the form of bread and wine what does discipleship mean what is the crisis of discipleship discipleship means we believe in the lord in the word of the lord and the word of the lord is that we must eat of his body and drink of his blood there is today a firm our faith in the holy eucharist together with simon peter and the other apostles and truly become the disciples of the lord and that is what discipleship means to believe in him and surrender our lives to him amen sanctuary pure and holy tried and true with the skin I'll be a living sanctuary for you Lord prepare me to be a sanctuary pure and holy that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may, may the, the lord, lord accept, accept this sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for, the for the praise and glory of his name for our, our good and the good, good of all his holy church accept in compassion lord we pray the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to load you yet more gloriously. when Christ our passover has been sacrificed he never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you he's the sacrificial victim who dies no more the lamb once slain who lives forever therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exults in your praise And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are filled with your glory sana in the hearts say you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that 
they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bosco, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With the confidence of the children, in the love of our Heavenly Father, our soul pray to him in the words, our Savior taught us, our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, should enter into my roof. Lord, say the word, word and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire earnestly to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there in my heart. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other reaches to me. You are my hope, hope like no other, hope like no Reaches to me in the fullness of your grace, in the power of your name. You lift me up, you lift me up, unfailing love, stronger than mountains, deeper than ocean. Reaches to me. Communion and even Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Alleluia. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let's go in the peace and joy of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Give hope to the hopeless Give faith to the faithless Your love shines through like the morning light You give grace to the humble Have mercy on the merciful This world's never seen anybody like you Sun, let it rain. Oh, what a wonder, Jesus, what a wonder you are. Oh, what a wonder, a wonder you are to save somebody 